Do you want six tips for finishing your basement to add value to your home? It takes more than just drywall and flooring to finish an unfinished basement. You must balance the possibilities of the available area with the style or plan you wish to design. If your home doesn't include an above-grade guest bedroom, it might be a wise addition. According to some research, 60% of purchases thought it was highly important that a home contains a spare or guest bedroom. So, to do that, pay attention to these tips. First, check the local laws. To complete your basement, you will likely need a permit. Therefore, your first step should always be to inquire with your local government about, about the cost of permits and the requirements for project approval. When doing a home inspection or disclosure process, purchases may notice renovations without permits as a major red flag, which may lead them to want to renegotiate or even back out of the sale. Second, choose a function. It's crucial to keep in mind that the style, design and quality of the finishes in your basement should complement the rest of your home. You will want to include the areas that make the most sense for your lifestyle. For example, if you have a high-end home, you should have a high-end basement. Third, choose your design. Working around the load-bearing walls and equipment such as the water heater, electrical box and furnace, which are frequently situated there, uh, can present challenges when finishing a basement. Speak with your contractor about what is practical in your space before getting too far along with your planning. Fourth, check your ceiling height. Ceilings must be at least 7 feet tall, according to most construction codes. However, in a basement with little natural light, taller ceilings are preferable. Have a discussion with your contractor about what may be done to maximize ceiling height, since pipes and ductwork are two of the main causes of low ceilings in basements. Fifth, make light a priority. The basement will be much more fun for you and more appealing to purchases if you can build a wall called basement and because you will bring in a lot more natural light. Always pay attention to light and increase the amount of lights to make up for the lack of natural light. A basement can benefit greatly from recessed lightning, which can provide general illumination without interfering with low ceiling clearance. 6. Choose the right basement flooring. The flooring materials should get special consideration when finishing the basement floor. Due to moisture problems that might result in warping and gapping, installing hardwood flooring in basements is typically not an option. Good options are high-quality carpet or carpet tiles, both of which can combat the cold feeling commonly found in basements, or quality vinyl flooring if you live in a warmer climate where keeping cozy is less of a concern. My name is Andrea Bausma, your local realtor. If you want to know anything about real estate, follow me in all social medias. Or if you need any help to sell or buy a house, DM me. Let's talk. And don't forget to hit the like button and follow me in all social medias, okay?